Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com, and I'm so happy to be here with you today. I am continuing to do things a little different. You can see a little bit of my new tripod in the um, in the view here. So bear with me while I'm kind of learning some new uh, procedures. But I'm really happy to be here with you today. We have a new promotion going on at Stampin' Up! and lots of fun things to share with you. So, um, with this new format that I'm using where I don't have to stamp upside down and I don't get to actually see you face to face, as it were, I am able to see your comments a lot easier. And this is just working better, better for me right now. Hey, Jackie, I'm glad you're here with me. So, let me have just a second here. Okay, yep, well, when I was practicing, this wasn't so much in view, and now it is, so, okay, let's see if we can, get, okay, that's a little better. Um, so we have a brand new um, promotion going on. Hey, Laura, I'm glad you're here, and Cynthia, and Linda. Okay, we've got a good group already gathering. Um, Savings are in bloom is the new promotion with Stampin' Up. It goes through the entire month of March. I will have this um, flyer linked on my blog uh, when I when I download this e um, email. When I download this Facebook Live into YouTube, I'll post it on my blog, and I'll have this if you'd like to be able to download this and you're not a demonstrator yet. So this is a really cool um, promotion. It's with the mini stamp and cut and emboss, and I oftentimes call this the mini boss because... That's just a lot to say. So instead of $60, it's on sale for $48. So that's a sizable savings, 20% uh, off. And uh, hello, Gail and Dolores. There's also, I think it's 11 bundles that are also at 20% off. They all work with the stamp and cut and emboss machine, the mini. So I'm going to showcase one of those for you today. And I wanted to showcase Celebrate Sunflowers for a couple of reasons. Number one, this debuted in our spring catalog last year, 2021. This year, it made it into our annual catalog, but it's no longer bundled. So you don't get that bundle savings. But for this promotion, you get 20% off. So if you have not grabbed this before, this would be a great time for you to put this in to your shopping cart and add this to your crafting collection. Sunflowers are on a lot of people's minds right now with the things that are happening in our world. Sunflower is the national flower of Ukraine. And I was looking up, because I've always loved sunflowers. I love most flowers, <laughs> truth be told. And I was looking today, hey, Claudia, um, and I'm going to actually do a sunflower um, in reds and the sunflower I'm going to be trying to recreate with my blends and my cardstock is called a Moulin Rouge sunflower. Some of us think sunflowers are just yellow. The traditional American sunflower is yellow, but sunflowers come in other shades of oranges, yellows, reds, and they're just beautiful. Be and they also come in different sizes. So um, just to help you understand kind of the method in my madness, I try to come to you with purpose. So the sunflower bundle is on sale for 20% off. And so is the mini cut and emboss. So let's get to stamping. Well, before we stamp, I got a couple more things to show you with the sunflowers. So I had gathered some great samples to show you some of the things you can do with this beautiful, beautiful bundle. There's a lot of dyes in here. And I guess maybe before I show you the samples, I should show you this. You have stamp, uh, stamps, you have dies that punch out if you want to, uh, well, that's not the right, it's not, this is not actual size, but anyway, this will cut out your sunflower. You can also cut out the detailing of your sunflower, and then you can cut out the larger leaf, the two leaves here, there's veins for this leaf, a couple of other little, um, leafy branches, and even the center. So there's a lot of cool dyes in here. 
as well as some excellent sentiments. I think there's a lot to recommend this uh, bundle. So let me show you my samples and then we will stamp. I love this. This is using two of the little mini um, sunflowers. So it's nice that you have the different sizes to work with. And this shows you the branches as well. And I love this Let's Celebrate You because you can do that for congratulations, for birthday, lots of different things. Then, hey, Marlene and Susie and Susan. Okay, welcome, welcome. I love this. This is from my friend, Lori. I think she lives in Nebraska. And I love this red, white, and blue. It's just a beautiful card. I never would have thought to do a sunflower this way. This is a really nice patriotic look. So if you were going to do a card for somebody in the military or a first responder or just to celebrate being part of America, this is a really nice, and this shows you the different dyes here. So this is part of the purpose here. This is a really good example of stamping tone on tone with the actual die and stamp, then layering over it the detail with both the leaf and the, the flower, and then uh, that center as well that's got some little dots in it. This is textured, lots of cool things. This is um, double Dutch door is what this fold is called. Now I would typically put a panel on the inside. This is part of a swap, really flashy. And this has been um, a lot of, um, Wink of Stella has been added to that. This is from our very own, let me see if I've got it going the right this way. This is from Gail, and Gail is on here today. She's one of our regulars on here, and she sent me this card. I think it was late last year, early this year, and I love it. It's just beautiful. So this is part of my display that uh, for Celebrate Sunflowers. So that is some of the beautiful work of Gail. So there's my samples. Now we're gonna go in a totally different direction today. And I'm gonna actually die cut on camera, which is not something I typically do. Uh, but with this new setup I have, I think it's gonna be a little bit easier. And I'm still playing. I just got this new uh, tripod. I just got it. So I've, I've had very little time to play with it. I do recommend with the mini cut and emboss, you're gonna, it's gonna need a fair bit of, you're, it's got a lot of pressure, just as much as your regular cut and emboss. But because of that, you're gonna need to hold it pretty steady and it's gonna wanna walk on you a little bit. So I like to put a, um, one of our, ay ay ay, <laughs> silicone mats underneath to keep it from walking. And then you're gonna get platforms just like you do with the regular cut and emboss. And if you don't have a cutting and embossing machine, this is a great way to start. If you don't wanna, if you don't have one of our new stamp and cut and emboss and you have an old big shot, this is actually a great next step for you because it's much easier um, to crank. It, it comes, you, you get your die cuts a lot better, a lot more. Um, they cut like butter. That's what, that's what I hear from a lot of people who have our old one and come to our new one. They go, oh, candy, it cuts like butter. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so the other reason you might want to have a cut and emboss, you might say, well, I already have the big boss. I already have the big cut and emboss. This is really nice if you travel at all. If you go camping and you want to craft, if you go to crops and you want to craft, if you come to my retreat, and you want to craft, or if you have, like I have a studio upstairs and then I, but I still craft sometimes downstairs, which is where my family tends to gather and where the TV is if we're watching a movie or something. So those are reasons you might want to add the mini boss to your collection. And right now, all the way through the month of March, it's on sale for 20% off, only $48, it's incredible. You get all these platforms, you get your cutting plates, and they're clearly, emb uh, clearly embossed. They are clearly marked. Man, my brain is just, whew, my husband's out of town. And <laughs> I've got all the, I've got a lot more responsibilities and I've had the window guy here today, all kinds of stuff going. So I've got a few things already prepped just to kind of save time. So I have already cut, that's not cut, I have already stamped my um, sunflower, my big sunflower. 
Now I'm going to come along here and I'm going to line up the die and I probably should get a little washi tape. Let me grab that really quick. I like to live dangerously, but not quite that dangerously. So washi tape, post-it notes, anything like that will help secure your die, your framelit. And this is true for the mini boss or the big boss. It doesn't matter. Same, you know, they really do have the same properties. The main difference being just the size. They're still going to cut through for you. They're still going to cut really nicely for you. The main difference is the size. So that takes up a much smaller footprint in your crafting space or if you had a desk space. So I forgot to put my little, you still have your two cutting pads. And that's ready to go. You can probably hear me, I'm sucking on a hard candy. I was trying to wet my whistle before I came on. So you can hear, well you can't hear because it's silent, but you can see I'm having to push, actually having to hold with my right hand, my left hand. The, the um, this side goes really easily. The main thing is really holding it steady with your left hand because it does require a fair bit of oomph. Hey, Crystal, I'm glad you have joined us. So now I'm gonna take my washi off and I actually don't need it anymore. This is gonna be for our Moulin Rouge sunflower. Now I'm gonna take this die here and I have already taken and put a piece of um, adhesive sheet on the back. It's gonna make your life much simpler. And I have cut this cardstock at three and a half inches. So you can kind of see the width of the platform here. And I think that's a key. Now, this is a, anytime using an intricate die and I've added the adhesive sheet, I find that it adds an element of thickness that can be difficult to cut through. So I like to keep, this is the, um, I probably only need one of these. This is the uh, hotel where I hold my crafting retreats and they always give me a lot of scrap paper. So I'm just taking, you could use copy paper, anything like this. This provides what you call a shim. And all that's doing is giving me a little bit of extra thickness so that when I run this through, it's gonna give a little extra pressure and that is going to help the die to cut through that added layer. Again, you really don't need to do this on like the outline stamps, and you wouldn't need to do it on this, not the outline stamps, the outline dies. You wouldn't need to do it on this die, except that I've got that adhesive sheet on there. But that adhesive sheet is gonna make my life a lot simpler when I go to put this together. Now, let me show you a little trick. Do I need to run this through a second time? I can look at the back and it looks like it has cut through really, really well. Right up here, maybe a little bit. So, you know, just to play it safe, I'm gonna go one more time through there. But it's really easy to tell whether you need that second pass or not, just by turning over the die and then you can readily see. So this is going to do the trick. And now I can take my little platforms, stack them together and pop this up. Boom, boom. And look at that cute little thing. It's about the size of a little, smaller than a lunchbox. Honestly, it's like a little mini sandwich holder. Super small, really convenient. So now let's see what we're gonna do. Now, I am going to take, and I'm going to go with my Moulin Rouge colors, lots of reds, and believe it or not, I'm going to throw in a little purple. So, if you look up a Moulin Rouge sunflower on Google, I'm taking dark cherry cobbler and I'm going into this, the center is the darkest in the Moulin Rouge sunflower. 
And I believe you can grow Moulin Rouge sunflowers in the US. So if you like really strong reds, this would be a great one to add to your garden. Now, although I've got really dark, I want it to be even darker in the very center. So I'm going to, first of all, while I have this out, I'm gonna come along here to not all, but some of my outer petals. And I'm just going to bring in some of this really dark cherry cobbler. You know, the nice thing about the blends is that you have a light and a dark of each color, a light and a dark shade of each color blend. And that's really, really helps us because to be honest, this dark cherry cobbler is much darker than the actual cardstock. So it's almost like the cardstock is halfway between the dark and the light. And that really helps, I think, when we're doing our designs, having extra shades of the colors that we are using. So you can see, I'm just scribbling. You know me, I'm a, I'm a quick and easy girl. If I have to sit and, and fiddle with this, I'm not gonna do it. So this is the way that Candy uses blends. She does a lot of scribbling. Because I just, I got a lot to, I got a lot to do, got a lot of ideas. You know, my, my brain just goes constantly. So I'm always looking for something else to do. Well, actually I'm not looking, I already have like 15 ideas in my head, so I can't spend too much time on each one. Okay, so there's Dark Cherry Cobbler. Now, before I go on with some light cherry cobbler, I'm gonna come in here with dark poppy parade. So this is gonna give me some more deep shades of red. And again, if you look up Moulin Rouge sunflowers, you will see how gorgeous they are. And that's really kind of the vibe I'm wanting to create. So again, just coming in here and grabbing some more of these dark, um, the dark lines, the um, outlines of my sunflower. Okay, those are looking pretty good. Now, believe it or not, this is dark Blackberry Bliss. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna color over the very center with dark Blackberry Bliss. Now, that's gonna dry it won't be quite that dark when it dries. And that is going to be a very good thing. Now this is dark real red. So now I'm coming in with my third shade of red. And look how that is giving me some really vibrant color. Hey Jane, I'm glad you have joined us. We are doing a Moulin Rouge sunflower today. Sunflowers are on a lot of people's minds because it is the national flower of the Ukraine. They're also just gorgeous flowers. Now this is light cherry cobbler. And now I'm gonna come in here and just finish off these last petals, kind of the tips right here on the edge. And I do, as much as I love the brush tips on the, on the blends, because again, I like to color a lot at once. I don't wanna be too fiddly. But these little, you know, these little um, pointed tips, the little writing tips on these blends really help. Now I have used three different shades of red on here, but look how nicely. They just give a lot of depth to my flower. And if you look at the Moulin Rouge sunflowers, they have a lot of shades of really deep reds. And the very center of the Moulin Rouge is the deepest. And that's true of most sunflowers. You know, our traditional yellow sunflower, in fact, I think it's called an American sunflower, has the really dark brown center and then the bright yellow uh, petals. So I think that is pretty uh, typical of sunflowers in general, that they have the darkest in the center. So this is coming right along and I might have got a little bit carried away with my coloring there. I tend to be a masher. I tend to work hard. Can't seem to color lightly. I always want to mash down and push hard with my 
coloring. Been that way since I was a kid. If I think about it, I can pull back and not be quite so heavy handed, but yeah, it's just kind of the way my, my hands always want to go dark with this and hard with this. Hey, Elizabeth, I'm glad you have joined us. We are working on a Moulin Rouge sunflower. So this is coming along very nicely. You know, you guys know not very often that I die cut on camera or color on camera because those things just take time. But look at here. There's a first time for everything. I'm doing both today all because of the fabulous, fabulous um, savings in bloom that we have going right now. And that is 20% off this set of stamps and dies that are not even bundle priced in the catalog. Now, I am really happy with the shades of red. Hopefully you can see that. But wait, there's more. Okay, let's see a little bit about where we're going to go, and then we're going to see whether we're going to step it up with the dies. Now, I have a crushed curry card base here, and I'm either going to go red with more red. I like that a lot. Or I'm going to go yellow with red. I think I'm just going to go red and more red with just a little pop of yellow. I'm just liking that, all that red. Now, I may change my mind when I go do the dies because remember this die cut we made? Let's see if I can find my, haha, -ha. no, is it in here? I have my pick a tool somewhere. If you could see my studio, you know, yesterday I came up here to clean. I set the timer for an hour because there was so much that needed to be done. And I knew I could probably stay up here all day, but I didn't really have all day. So I set the timer and that helped, but I need to do like about three more of those. So I think I'm gonna add these little green sprigs and let's see if I can get this. Um, well, anybody have one of these old pokey tools? This is the old Stampin' Up. Um, piercing tool and I still have actually when they retired these I grabbed several because I do love them so let's pull this right off the die you know one of the nice things that happens when you use the adhesive sheets is that they pull off a lot of the little negative pieces which really makes life simple. So let's pull this off. There's my adhesive sheet. And it makes everything into a sticker. I think the adhesive sheets are like six or seven dollars. And honestly, they'll last you for probably at least a year, probably even more than that, depending on how much you use them. But there's a lot in each one. So now I am going to take this and I'm going to lay this right on top and we're gonna have red on red. I'm liking all the red. Hey, Betty. Yeah, you know what, uh, Jane, if you don't have these adhesive sheets yet, I will list, um, I'm gonna put this on my blog. You know, by the time I download this into my, make sure I'm doing the right one here. By the time I download this into YouTube and get it up on my, uh, where am I? There we go. There we go. That's it right there. Um, it'll probably be tomorrow, but I did finally get the inspiration sheet for last week's, um, what do you call it? I did a fun fold. Couldn't seem to sit down long enough to get all of the measurements on paper, but I did finally get that done last night. So that is up. Well, let's see, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not lined up, let's see. Okay, Candy, here we go. Nope, okay, there we go. 
I always look for these little petals down here at the bottom that have a little bit of a curve. Those are the ones that help me line everything else up, theoretically. <laughs> then there's me working, working the die, working the die, working out. Oh, oh, you know what? I need to be, I'm doing it a little bit too far over. Okay, I think that is going to do the trick. Voila. Okay, got a little bit of white peeking out, just enough. I'm liking it. Now, the one thing I forgot to do before I put this down, but I'm going to do it anyway, is I'm going to do Wink of Stella in the center here. That is going to give me just a bit of shine, a little bit of pop. Now, now that we have this red on here, let's try again. Just to show you, this is the, um, these are the Regals, um, designer series papers. There's the Crush Curry, and here's the Real Red, and then I've put a lot of Cherry Cobbler on top. I like that. I just like that deep red. I'm wanting to, when I, when I share this on my blog, I'm going to have a picture of those Moulin Rouge, um, what do you call them? Um, sunflowers. Now, I'm going to stamp this directly on the designer series paper, something I really love doing, because I want all of the emphasis to be on that sunflower. I don't want a flag here. I don't want extra cardstock. I want a pretty um, kind of subtle um, greeting there. Now, I am going to do... There's a lot of white coming out here. So I'm gonna come along here with my blend. and Just fill that in just a little bit more so it doesn't, you want quite that much white showing out. Sometimes you want that white um, contrast and sometimes you don't. I'm just wanting a lot of red here. Just that really deep color. Now, which you know, you would not have thought that I had put cherry cobbler there in the center, but it helped me to deepen the red without obliterating it because I tried it with black and it just kind of like, yeah, it obliterated it. So the um, the uh, Blackberry Bliss was just the ticket. So I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do, that was closing my, um, closing up my blend, and you do want to hear that little pop. That was intentional because you need that to make sure that your blend is really closed. Let me grab a, I need a, let's see, a seal. I'm knock myself over, getting all excited here about my card. Now, you know, one more thing I could do. Oh, that's kind of nice, too. Oof, I think we're going to turn it over. I think I like that better. Okay, now we're going to go in with thanks a bunch. Let's do it one more time. Let's see which one we like better. Oh, somebody's giving me some hearts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's better. You know, it's funny how you just turn your paper over and everything can change. So let's go ahead and put this piece of paper down. I'm just using my seal. And then I think I've got a couple little things I can add here. You know, this is really a technique card. And I find that when I have a technique card, I don't want to add a lot of other stuff. I don't want, I want my embellishments to be really subtle because it's really all about the technique. Now I am gonna use my black dimensionals and the only ones handy at the moment are the minis, but that's okay, I'll just use a few extras. But when you have this red on red, it's really nice to have the dark dimensionals so that when you open the card, there's no white coming through on the side. 
Hey Dudley, I'm so glad you're here. We are doing a Moulin Rouge sunflower, which is a type of sunflower in deep shades of red. And we're thinking about sunflowers today. I know a lot of people are because they are the national flower of Ukraine. Okay, so now that is gonna go like so. Now I wanna add just a little bit of embellishment. Now I do have these sprigs. Do I wanna add these little green sprigs? Just a little bit of, just a little bit of color there. Might be kind of a nice touch. Something we could do there. Yes, I think that many of us are thinking about Ukraine. It's on everyone's mind. So I thought this sunflower today was going to be just the ticket. I saw that one of my friends in England was, she does little painted, um, she does little painted um, stones, rocks, and she had done some lovely ones today with kind of Ukrainian flag colors. So Susan, you've seen lots and lots of sunflowers, miles and miles of them. They can be pretty amazing. Now I'm gonna trim that one just a little bit and tuck it in there so that I have a third one. Actually, I don't even think I need to. See how I've got that little piece of stem? That's gonna bother me. Sometimes just a little, you know, when you've gone to the trouble to make a, a technique card, you kind of want the little details to be nice too. So I don't want that little stem hanging out there. Okay, so that is going to get a little bit of seal right there. Well, there we go. And that is going to tuck right up under here. Oh yeah, that's, that's just the ticket. I'm liking that. And then, let's see. I've got some of these little gold gems. They're pretty bright, but they could work. And then, ooh, you know what? These are the metallic you know what, look at how these copper ones pick up the oranges in that, you know, I've got like three shades of red here, not like, I have three shades of red. I used real red blends, cherry cobbler, and poppy parade. And I think that what's gonna happen is that these are um, copper and they're picking up some of that orangey, tone in the red. Do I dare? Is that too much? What do we think? Maybe like so. Hmm. What do we think? I think placement is pretty good. I'm happy with that. I would be very happy to send that to someone. You know, I could. Of course, you know me. I'm going to keep messing with it. I could take a little piece of black twine and, oh, Susan, you like the copper too. You know, copper to me, it's almost like a chameleon color because it will pick up pinks and oranges and all kinds of things that you don't think it will. Sometimes we think of, or, of copper as just orange, but it's so much more. It has some lovely shades in it. Do I wanna put a little black bow right there? What do we think? I think it's kinda nice. I think I like it. Okay, well, I'm getting some positive feedback. Let me know if you think that that bow is too much. I kind of like it. I want anything that's gonna help draw attention to that flower. Oh, yay, Laura said that I'm doing my job well because she has a whole list of things she wants after my video. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy because that is, you know, I think that our catalog can be a little overwhelming. Whether you're looking at it online or in person, it can be overwhelming. And then you see something and the way it's used and you go, okay, that, that makes sense. That I think would be 
something that would be that, that would work well for me. You know, the other thing I like about um, little twine bows like that is they kind of bring a, a bit of a casual feel. And I don't want this to be too, I don't, you know, sunflowers aren't formal. Although I've seen them in wedding bouquets and they're just beautiful. Okay, Jeanette likes the bow. I didn't even see you here, Jeanette. Okay, so there we are. Thanks a bunch. Using Celebrate Sunflowers and lots of reds, lots of shades of red. But I, I think that sometimes less is more and sometimes more is more. So that is going to be it for today. Teach Me Tuesday was all about using lots of shades of red and learning to use uh, the sunflower dyes as well as the stamps. And I will have this on my blog tomorrow with pictures of the Moulin Rouge, beautiful sunflower. And I hope that if you do not already have the Celebrate Sunflowers stamps and dies, that you'll consider putting them into your shopping cart. They are 20% off, so that is a great deal. Let me grab my flyer once again and see. Because, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot here on sale. So the mini, the mini boss machine itself, but then all of these different die sets so, or stamps and dies. So yeah, the sunflower uh, bundle is $45.50. So that is it for today. This will be on my blog tomorrow. If you didn't already see the um, inspiration sheet for my fun fold last week, it is on my page here today. So just scroll down. I posted it earlier. And I will see you Thursday for simple and stepped up stamping. In the meantime, take care and God bless.